Oh oh, I guess it's time to review this show. Blue Bloods. The crime drama. Blue Therapy, as the name implies, is a show that brings two couples who are at the brink of breaking up and then put them in front of a therapist because that's how therapists work. They do magic. Just give me a little bit of your background. What, what business are you in? Ghana. Ghana. Which company? Ghana company. When watching this show, you either support one party or support the other. But don't let the people on this app know you are supporting the minority. It's done by Trend Central, the media company that created Backchat. And most people don't know this, but to enjoy Backchat, you have to go to your friend's house, press play on the show, then run back to your house. Then video call your friend as she watches it in her house. And by doing this, maybe the network will filter the noise since everyone just likes talking at the same time. And when you get past the constant fights, stick around as you try to learn all their names. Oh, oh! In the next episode, you have a whole new cast. So get ready to cram a lot. Einstein. Episode 1 of Blue Therapy had so many red flags. Firstly, they kept on calling it a social experiment. Like if you called it a therapy session, someone might get sued. I've seen an opportunity for a social experiment. With a camera for some social experiment. So I'm on my way for this social experiment. Actually here for a social experiment. Then this guy here came out and said it was all scripted. I want to thank you guys so much for your support of my very first acting gig. This has really been an experience for myself. What's happening here guys? On one end you have people who like the conversations and think it's real because that's how their own relationship is and on the other end you have people who have never been in love and you see them beat their chest and say that's why I'm not in a relationship. Boy if you don't... So I think it's scripted and I will treat it as a scripted show. Choma and Paul are interesting characters. Both of them have been in a relationship for three years but they magically still find ways of learning new things about themselves. Currently in our relationship we're doing a lot of patching instead of really like fixing the issues i'm literally blown away like i haven't even heard this before how do you not know that do you want to defend choma in calling my sister a bitch no. let me rephrase that because mm. that might come across rude uh -huh. all right she acts like a bitch oh I don't think we should know this. <laughs> Both characters are flawed in various ways. Paul, for instance, even with the large amount of flaws this man has, he always finds a way to balance it out. If he has misogynistic ideologies, he also has a Benz, guys. If he's absent emotionally and physically, he also has a Benz, guys. If he picks words to fit his narrative, <laughs> guys, <laughs> he makes up by having a freaking Benz. Shoma is different. She has done TV before, so bringing her private life to the public is like drinking water to her. <laughs> she comes off as the more reasonable one. Her biggest flaw for me is how much she can share. I know it's a therapy session, but take it easy with the amount of things you're sharing, man. Have you ever been to therapy before? I am dying in need of some help. I want emphasis on how people perceive us as a couple. Invested. You're not and comprehending what I'm saying. Is. Gambling places, because it's gambling if you ask me. The most buying so many bottles, paying 10k for tables. She acts like a bitch. <laughs> Then we have the Instagram couple, Deborah and Jamal. And if those guys are still in a relationship after this show, they should start a family channel because their name fits well for a family channel. Deborah is the jealous and possessive lover, and Jamal is the laid back and plain old chronic latecomer. Unlike the first couple, these guys they still have hope because they've been dating for just one year. If the show was scripted, and our big giveaway was this part. I'm a Burner Boy fan. First of all, you've changed, babe. I still like Burner Boy, but I, yes, I prefer Wizkid. I like Davido um, and Speed Darlington. My full assessment for this show, especially for Paul and Choma, is they are not meant to be with each other. You don't need a relationship coach to tell you this. He has a huge inferiority complex to deal with. And the worst thing about that is when you know a friend of yours is fake, it's hard to not call them out. So I understand Shoma, but she isn't perfect also and need to make things work out is bad just let go sometimes some people are not worth it trust me oh yes um i only watched one episode um can't wait for season two episode one are you trying to take me for a fool after paying for the food and then you put me in the mode the small thing already thank you guys for watching i know this is probably a short video i just wanted to just do it and yeah surprisingly i only watched one episode i know of one thing it's a bad show it's very good um back chat is also good so jokes <laughs> but 
Um, I wasn't too much interested because I don't know, I don't like drama like that. I love drama, but I don't like drama like that. So if you want me to review more of the episodes, put it down in the comment section, guys. And also join my Patreon to support me by removing money from your pocket and putting it in my pocket. So watch my previous video because I truly like it. It's going to be at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're good. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye. This nigga took about two bottles of champagne. I asked what they do, we start to complain. It's you no know money for your bank, but still you want to spend cash. Telling me I have a lot of people will go pay cash. Okay, you son, that hard bottle. He say my guy drink, say the money no be nothing. As a sharp guy, so I order for the big one. Don't be me, they pay for the drinks, why take a small one? She be the